Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fifth SAS tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about mixins. <laughs> okay then dudes, so what the hell is a mixin? Well, at its most basic form, a mixin is a chunk of reusable CSS or SAS that we can just inject into any element that we want. So say for example, we've got different elements on our page like A tags, buttons, or form ele uh, elements, which all use a particular set of styles, right? Then instead of applying all of those styles to each of those elements individually, what we can do is create a mixin, which creates all of those styles or nested styles, right? And then we can import that mixin into whichever elements require those styles. So it's a bit of a time saver. And the cool thing is we can also pass through variables or arguments to those mixins from these different elements that we're styling up. And that's gonna possibly uh, change the output of those mixins depending on the element that's calling them. Now that might sound a little bit complicated now, so don't worry about that. We're gonna cover passing variables to mixins in a later tutorial. For now, we're just gonna create a simple mixin, right? And the mixin we're gonna create is gonna target the banners and the content within them. So we've got two banners on the page. So we're going to create a single mixin, which is going to apply to both of these banners, right? Before I do anything, I want to create one more variable. I want to call this banner heading. And this is going to be a font size. And I want to get rid of that pound sign. Don't know where that's come from. And I'm going to give this a font size of 46 pixels. And that's going to be the heading size for these things right here when they're overlaid onto the banner. So we're going to use that shortly. Okay, then. so how do we create a mixin? First of all, I'm going to do a little comment to say mixins right here. Then when we create a mixin, we first of all put the at symbol and the keyword mixin. Then we give our mixin a name. I'm just going to call this banner because that's what we're creating the banner. Okay. Now these banners right here are in the HTML and you can see the first one is right here, the lead banner. So we're going to apply the mixin to that. We're also going to apply the mixin to this banner down here which is the lessons banner, okay? And you can see we've got some different elements nested within each one of those. So we can target all those within this mixin. So we want this lead banner, first of all, to be 100% in width, right? We want it to be the full width of whatever the browser size is. So we'll say width, first of all, is 100%, okay? Then we wanna give it a position of relative so that we can position things relative to this element and the color of the text within it is gonna be white. Okay, cool. So now what we want to do is target the elements within the banner itself. And we have one element with a class of content, um, sorry, it's banner hyphen content, okay? And you can see that on both banners. In this lead banner right here, you can see there, banner content. And then on this one down here, you can see banner content right there within the lessons banner. Cool, so we're targeting that right now. And then within here, what we wanna do is say position absolute. And then from the top, it's gonna to be 50 pixels. And the width is gonna be 100 pix uh, percent, like that, okay? So this stuff here, this is the banner content. And this stuff here, this is the banner content. So now it's gonna be positioned absolutely onto the banners. Okay, next thing I want to do is target the image within the banners and again we're going to give those a width of 100% like so and then I also want to target the span tags within those banners as well and the span tags are actually what contain the text so if we have a look in the HTML again you'll see right here we have the spans like so yeah and in the top one we have the spans like so okay so we're targeting those elements right now and uh, the first thing I want to do is say font size, and we're going to use that variable we created before, which is banner heading. Cool. Then I want to display these tags as block. Then I'm going to give them a text transform property of uppercase. If I can spell it correctly. There we go. And uh, I want to give them a font weight of bold, like so. All right, so... Just a couple more things I want to do. The first one is I want to style the title span tag a little bit differently. So this one here has a class of title, right? And the bottom one down here also has a class of title, yeah? So we've got subtitle and title. I want to uh, style this one slightly differently. So what I'll say is span 
dot title. And then within that, what I want to do is say the font weight of this is going to be normal, whereas the other one is bold. And the margin bottom is going to be 30 pixels. Okay. So let's save that right now. And you're not going to see any changes over here yet. And that's because we've just created this mixing. We're not actually applying this mixing anywhere on the page yet. So how do we do that? Well, let's go down to our styles. We've got down to the bottom so far. And remember, this one is the lead banner, and this one is the lessons banner, right? So we need to apply that mix into both of these. So how do we do that? First of all, we write our rule for lead banner. And then within that, all we need to say is at include, that's how we bring in a mix in, and then we use the name of the mix in like so. So if we save that now, then we're gonna see those styles applied to the lead banner. It's just grabbing all of the mixing styles right here, all this kind of stuff, yeah? And it's grabbing that and dumping it right here, like so. So that's why we're seeing those styles right there. Okay, one thing I wanna do with this lead banner, which is a little bit different from the other banner, which is why I'm not putting it in the mixing, is to say text align to the right. It looks a bit daft over her face, so let's save that. And we're gonna see this align, hopefully, oops, when we spell it correctly, that is, to the right. Cool, that looks better. Okay, so now we need to apply this mix into the other banner down here. So the class for that is lessons banner. And you guessed it, we just need to say at include banner, like so. Save that. And then we should see those styles applied there as well. Now, again, I want to apply a few styles to this banner, which are a bit different from the lead banner. So I'm not going to do these in the mixing. I'm going to do them within the lessons banner. And the first thing I want to do is just grab the li tags. And then I'm just going to say text transform uppercase, like so. The font size is going to be 20 pixels. And the max width of this is going to be about 500 pixels. So that's the maximum width of each li tag, right? So if it gets to about here or something like that, it's gonna drop onto the new line. And then we'll give it a margin of 60 pixels, top and bottom, a zero left and right. So let's save that now and check out this bad boy. That looks a bit better. So now we've got both of our uh, banners styled, if you like. And uh, we've done that using these mixings by including them right there and defining them up here at the top. So that is how we use mixings. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the next tutorial.